Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. We are back with Gundam Breaker 3, and I am trying to paint. And I've done it before, obviously, so it shouldn't be a big thing. It's just, if there's a way to, like, copy and paste these things, I do not know it, so... I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. I'm just trying to get, uh... Trying to figure out how to store these things once you've, uh, made them. And that is uh, giving me some trouble. So bear with me a moment while I try and do this, but I'm just going to use preset colors for now because it'll be faster. Significantly faster. Okay. How do I get back to the menu I was on? I have no idea, so let's just wing it. That one. That one. Wrong button. Going to be a lot of wrong button here while I mess with this. Uh, that. Um, let's go with that. And that. No, let's go back and make that blue, because... Is this the right one? No. Cancel. Yeah, like I said, giving me a little bit of trouble, but, you know... If you happen to know the copy-paste buttons, give me a holler, because I would like to know them. Um, let's go with a dark, shiny blue for that, because why not? And matte gray for that. I swapped in a Jinx head because it had slightly better stats, and I'm going to be trying the uh, barehanded brawling. So, And I'm also going to be extremely shiny. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. Let me... let's see. What is the... Let's see, go back to the main setup screen. Uh, triangle is save. And plant it here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Other than the uh, other than those two changes, I haven't really done much. Went through my parts and just want to get recording while I can. Because it's getting a little late. But let us go do the next mission, whatever that may be. Let's see. Um, well, that's a hot spot. Tog East 3, Double Zeta, etc. Um, okay, well, I got one of these, and then there's three more. It looks like we're into Chapter 3. Yeah, that's where we, uh, Zal and I left off last time, so... And we're going to be uh, demolitioning some monoliths, so let's do that. And... But yeah, if they're... I, I'm not sure they're, like copy paste color scheme buttons for this or if so i don't know where to find them so again any help you you can provide that'd be awesome if not i'll blunder through it on my own because that's kind of why we're here so man the jinx uh, head is really ugly in those colors noted let's do some punching let's see but yeah, this is the brawling uh, part, not the martial arts part, so... The difference being, you know, no god fingers here, so... I went with boost tackle because it recharges very quickly, so... Also, I believe it changed my pilot voice when I, uh, changed to a, uh... Uh, female pilot suit, which, you know, just one of those things that I'm in the habit of doing. Let's go in the backpack. Sorry if I'm a little slow, still getting over the cold, still a little bit spacey. Oh, yeah, I need to set up my Robotai and see what I, I can make it do, too. We were going with Zalas for a while there, so I didn't really get a uh, good look at, how, at what I can do with that. Let's see. Can I charge? What just happened? That was an interesting move, but I'm not sure what I did. Oh well, let's shoot some people. Okay. Okay. Okay! The brawler hands now grapple. That's great. If you hold the button, they grapple. 
if you tap triangle being the if you hold the heavy attack button for grapple I'll strike a saber there I may be throwing a lot of this away considering uh, you know Zala and I were playing together and you get better stuff in multiplayer so you know See, we'll go to the monolith in a second. I just want to pick this stuff up and get a uh, shotgun enhancement. Okay, now we are stuck in this little special zone of influence. So we'll probably be locked in here with that unicorn gun. Oh, a bunch of other dudes too. Did I knock him up there or did he jump? Hard to say, but that was a knock. Got a rare unicorn arm, I think it was. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm all kinds of spacey tonight. I'm sorry, but I'll work on it. I'll get back in the groove. I need to move my tackle to X because that's where I'm used to it being. Man, they're beating me up pretty good. Yeah, mine too. Got a hyper bazooka. There we go. Can I grab him? Let's find out. Yes, I can. And then I can throw him. Awesome. Damn. We were at a unicorn head, so... Still using the sniper rifle. I'm assuming it will not let me grapple the, uh, monolith, so... Let me get my funnels going here. I did funnels. There we go. Pretty. Okay. Heat Hawk. I've got a pretty good one of those. Another Brawling Hand. Also, uh, somebody straightened me out on how to save individual parts of the square button and then just hit sell all at the end, so that you don't have to, you know, basically the reverse of the way I've been doing it, which would save me a lot of time and button presses, so. Which is good, because I don't want to, you know, wear out the family dual shock for playing this. Because you can't really replace it like right now, and that would suck for everybody else. Suck for me too, but I'd feel exceedingly guilty. Let's stow the funnels and let them, uh, let them, uh, recharge. Blitz gun to the head. Knock you out of your Mirage Call right there, which... Mirage Call right always sounded like, you know, like an intestinal problem to me. Alright, tackle you. Can I grab you? Yes, I can. Okay, that's great. I really do enjoy that. Let's heal Misa. Funnels still need to... Uh... I forget whose beam saber and beam gun this is I'm using, but... It's definitely part of my, uh, part of my setup, so, is it part of the Kshatri's arms? And I wanted my binders. There we go. I love those things. Okay, let's grab this. Yeah, so... Over the weekend, Avocado Zala and I and MS Bop got together to play Gundam Senki, finally. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna edit that because uh, I do want to uh, do some highlights because the first couple of uh, levels especially, it's kind of dull because I am using... Zala and I started fresh and Bop decided he would, you know... Uh, he asked if he... Uh, reminded if he... Uh, used a more experienced mercenary mode file so he could show, show some things off, and I mean, of course not. Ooh, and the salt's wind gun arms. So, yeah, he did some really great stuff, and, you know, 
I wish he could record. I wish he could record this himself because oh man. Okay, I'm gonna go burst because I'm a little bit tired of these guys. Maybe I can kill them before my burst runs down. Stomp. Okay, when you don't have a weapon, you just stomp. Okay, didn't get that done. Was hoping to use that on the monolith, but... Still some, some solid damage, so... Spin it in a little bit. Throw you... Man, that throw does tremendous damage. Gotta remember that. Obviously, it's not going to work against, like, you know, perfect grades or whatever, but still. Yes, we are attacking the monolith. Thank you, Robotop. Gotcha. Move to next area. Okay. But yeah, we just... Senki was really very frustrating to me on single player. But on multiplayer, oh man, that's that's a lot of fun on multiplayer. I, w I wish you could do multiplayer on its single player mode, because there's a couple of missions I got stuck on that I am certain that Zala and Bob could help me through in a minute. But, and you'd have to do the single player thing to unlock mercenary mode, so I'm just going to play Federation. The thing about mercenary mode, I'm told, is that you can unlock mobile suits for both sides, but they cost double points, so... Considering how much point grinding we're already looking at in that game, that's a little much anyway, so... I'm just ha I'll be content with the uh, faster growth, in all honesty, so... Spinning is great, but let's go back to Funnels. Funnels out. Let's do some shooting. Let's do some tackling. Let's kill the Sniper. In between missions, I'm going to turn the volume on my headphones down a little, because I cannot actually hear myself think at the moment. Ah, Blue Rarity Goof Arms. Hope they have some good skills. Okay, not bad. Uh, let's rack the funnels again. Well, the building took the brunt of that. Oh, well. Gotcha. That uh, yeah, more hail strike sabers, I think it was. Yeah, brawling hands are not bad, but the range is a little bit. Yeah, you know, obviously the range is not going to be great. So let's donate some funnels to this. Nope, you cannot grab the grapple monolith. I had to try. You know I had to try. Put those away and let them, uh, let them cool down. Yeah, I may try great swords next if I can get a decent one because uh, I want something with a little bit more range. Let's see. So Pascon was at this past week, and we got to see more of the uh, power of the Primes line. That's going to be fun. We're getting a Dinobot combiner. We're getting, uh, we're getting the terror cons, if you remember those. Where is, oh, my gunning, my shooting arm seems to have been knocked off, so. Also, I'm hitting the wrong ex which doesn't help either. But, yeah, there's some really good stuff coming out, and finally, for the first time since, like, 1986, a really, really good Rodimus con, so. So much looking forward to that. And it's designed so that the, like, the core of it is a hot rod that you can transform uh, to become the core of Rodimus Prime. So that is just fantastic looking and I want. We're also getting an Optimus Primal where you get a like Season 1 style Optimus Primal that becomes uh, the center of an Optimal Optimus from Season 3. And... Let's see, also an Optimus Prime where you get an, like, original Sunbow animation style Orion Pax as the core body. Oh, dual Gundam parts. Neat. 
got that. Yeah, I gotta have something with more range. This is throwing me. Something that recharges my option parts faster would be good too. I think I've got a couple of a couple of add-ons to my uh, arms to do that, but I'm not sure yet. I definitely need to get a better recharge going if I'm going to be using funnels. So, oh, thank you for the heal, whoever did that. Probably Roberta. Ah, oh, the barrier's down. Good. See if I can get stuck on it with the tackle. Uh, adequately stuck. Funnels out, and shoot! That was a pretty good shoot. And, but yeah, a lot of fun stuff coming in Hascon. Oh yeah, also, if you saw the Titan Masters from this last year, the little, like, Headmasters that came with vehicles, uh, they're becoming Prime Masters, just basically little things, like little blocks that are supposed to represent the spark to 13 primes. But the little vehicles that they come with are being replaced with pretender shells. So, it looks fantastic. Cannot wait. They're supposed to start showing up, funnels out, about December. And, oh, a Build Strike Gundam Parks, great. And, one, two, three. Got the Otori backpack, which I think is for the Akatsuki. V Dash Gundam backpack. Almost got this guy, I think. I could knock his legs off, I can now. Let's see if I can pick him up and throw him. Yes. Looks like when you uh, pick them up like that, you can use them as a shield, which is just. Genius. Oh, okay. Stomp. Oh man, that was great. Man, this one just keeps going. Akatsuki body, fancy beam rifles, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that's the monolith stump. That is not one of the gold boxes. It's hard to tell from a distance, honestly. But yeah, we'd gotten leaks of a lot of this stuff, but getting it uh, getting it confirmed and getting good looks at it was definitely worth it. Now I just gotta get the uh, Titans Return RC that was premiered there because I really, really, really want to have one of those. I'm on a podcast, on, I'm on the one podcast radio for Cybertron, and my one friend on there, Don, is the guy who has been asking at BotCon since like 1994, hey Hasbro, how about making a Headmaster RC? And this year, 20-some years later, they're doing it. So, like, I I would want one myself anyway, because that's just a cool idea. But just because this is something, you know, that reminds me of my friend that, you know, is something he campaigned for for years and years and years. Can I get up, please? There we go. I gotta have one. I just, unfortunately, you know, Don could not go to Hascon, so my friends who did naturally, with a limit two items, uh, per two of each exclusive per person, you know, prioritized getting his because it's his thing. I mean, I would feel terrible if they got one for me and not uh, him anyway, so very happy that he got his. I'll get mine when I can. This Wednesday is when they go live on Hasbro's website, in case you uh, want to get one for yourself. Funnels it back. Oh man, it's crowded in here. Oh, you guys finished that. Well, I what? I wasted the shot. Uh, let's go back to... I wish I knew what this beam saber and gun setup is for. I don't think... Yeah. I'm still using Exia legs. Do the Exia's Beam Sabers double as guns? Because I know it has Beam Sabers attached. Besides the GN blades. The Beam Sabers go on the rear skirt right next to the, uh... Right next to the, uh... And I, I have a standard Beam Saber, but it doesn't say it's a GN Beam Saber. Where are those? Um... 
it's these up here, isn't it? No, GM Beam Daggers. I have no idea. Put those funnels away, just in time. Um, okay, what if this happened? Sorry, I'm fucking with my mem menus because this Beam Saber and Beam Gun thing uh, combo just like, disappeared on me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Beam Saber and Beam Gun. Also, funnels. Uh, you can you can put yourselves away now. I don't need you at the moment. Yeah, what is what are these? What are what part are they from? They're green. Which would lead me to believe that they're from the Exia. But like I said, I was not aware that the Exia's uh, beam sabers doubled as a beam gun, so... Huh. Let's break target lock for a moment and open this box. So yeah, just... I'm trying to figure it out. It's not working. Prison's green... I forget, does the, uh... Does the Kshatri use green beam sabers? Okay, it looks like they do fire out of the arms, so yeah, that must be what the deal is. Okay. Yeah, and that makes sense, because, you know, the Kshatri arms are probably one of my strongest parts, and they do some pretty solid damage. But I'll tell you, they don't do enough damage as a beam gun to justify the long hold before you can shoot it, so... You know, mixing it into a combo somewhere, I kind of like that thing with the gun cannon head. Um, let's go burst. I don't know if this is the end of the stage or not, but I'm assuming no. But we'll make it. Um, binders. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, gun archer arms, gun cannon head. Interestingly, I swear the, uh... I swear the funnels just come out if you're futzing with your menus and go past them. Yeah, that's right. Right. Despite the GN particles, the Exia's beam sabers are are pink, aren't they? Because I think that's what I'm using now. Yeah, those are GM beam, GN beam daggers, and they're pink. So, yeah, it must be the chapter that the, that these came from. So, man, that that whip. Oh man, do I need help or what? But yeah, I'm I'm having after playing Gundam Senki and Tactics Ogre like most of the week, I am having trouble. Oops, I am having trouble adjusting to the change in uh, control schemes just a little bit. Like, also this is just all happening so fast, it's hard to like really mind my controls. So. That's just how it is, and it's not like I'm hurting for damage options. No matter what option, no matter what weapons I end up using. Almost got it. Gotcha. Move to next area. Okay, next area is this route. Yeah, I got the box up there. Let's switch to funnels. They seem to be fully charged. Let's roll. Let's see if I can actually control this, like, properly. Now I'll turn the sound down a little bit so I can hear myself think! That'll help too, honestly. Alright, so... Okay, Don Body. Knock something off of somebody, so... Stuck behind a rock and my 
target lock is going bonkers. Oh well. I will charge towards something that takes me out from behind the rock. Pop the funnels and see what I can do. Okay. Ah, I did see a box. Good. Give me that. There we go. I'm going to rack the funnels now so I can put, uh, bring them out when the bo uh, boss shows up, but I'm pretty sure this will be a boss battle. And... Smite. Oh, hello, Monolith. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. I'm going to smash in a minute. Always be polite to the Monolith you're about to destroy. I mean, it's only fair. Okay. And what do we got? We've got a pair of... Uh, I think it's Perfect Strike Gundam. The first phrase that came to mind was Everything Bagel Strike Gundam, and I know that's wrong. Yep, Perfect Strike. There we go. But I think I'm going to call it that from now on, because, I mean, that's what it is. It's the Ale Striker plus a sword plus a launcher. And it's time to funnels, because, yeah, these things are pretty vicious. And I'm stuck behind the rock again, but I'm knocking parts off of things, so that's something. And hey, they absolutely cannot dodge my, uh, perfect strike arms. They absolutely cannot dodge my tackle when I'm stuck back here, so that's something. Oh, stomp. Oh man, that is satisfying. That's how Oh, first mode, since I'm pretty sure this is the end of the level. Let's use that. Got you now. Nope, did not trigger my burst slash in time, and my thumb is a red line, so I hope this is the end of the level, because I just did everything. Strike them in body. Well, I think it is time to find these. Not bad. Gotcha. There we go. End of level? End of level. Alright, let's see what we got. So I think we got quite a bit. And yeah, like I said, now I know squares keep and triangle will sell, uh, sell everything remaining, so I should be able to do this. 60,000 points, not bad, which amounts to 30,000 credits. Circle Rob, you're using Japanese PlayStation controllers. I learned Hammer Blow, well, I might install that next round if I don't find a better weapon, but I'm hoping to find a better weapon. Ale Strike Saber, pretty sure that's a new thing. Level 10 is definitely new. Uh, Ale Strike... Yeah, I kept the rare ale strike saber, so I probably don't need those. Uh That can't be right. Furagraha. Which the way they the way that usually works means it's a uh, you know German hard H when you see ha at the end of a thing like that. Um I don't remember half of these names, so keep sell all that. At least we're getting higher level stuff. Um, ooh, that's a fancy beam gun. It's for the... Ah, it's the build strikes. Very nice design. Uh, level 10 strike Gundam rifle. I'll keep... The, I, ah, Endless Waltz Buster rifle. Very nice. Uh, Zaku machine gun, level 10, yes. Hyper Bazooka, I'm not even sure I have one. Uh, rare parts, Unicorn and Strike. Gun cannon, I think, is new. Level 10 Zaku head... I think that might be a record for the O. That might be a record for Wing. Definitely a record for Strike. Uh, build Strike is new. I'll take Blitz and Build in case they're new. That's rare. Um, take the Dom Torso and the Strike Torso and the Akatsuki. 
Um, oh man, take all the rare stuff. Goof, Agai, Agai, Dom, Unicorn, Wing, Wing, and Gun Archer. Uh, level 10 Dom Arms. Uh, 7 might be a GPO2 record. 10 for that. Uh, level 9 Perfect Strike, level 10 Duel. Gun Archer, I'm not even sure I have arms for. S-Type Zaku, that's good, pretty good. Not sure I have that. Keep that. Uh, V-Dash, Wing Gundam. Uh, Strike Rouge. Strike Rouge, Otori. Ah, Otori, yeah. Owashi is the, uh, Akatsuki's backpack. Otori is the, uh, Strike Rouge's fancy backpack that never actually appeared in anything. Goof. Dom. Uh, pretty sure I got a better unicorn backpack. Wing Gundam. Uh, Sword Strike. Perfect Strike. Blitz. Duel. Um, Freedom Gundam Shield. Unicorn and Wing Endless Waltz. I think I've got the full wing now. Uh, Goof Shield and Age 2 Shield. And a bunch of plastic, which obviously going to take that. Uh, going to take that, going to take the armor gain, going to take the weapon mastery cube for machine gun, and going to take the enhance shot rain. Okay. And that is it. 5100, okay.